Hey guys, welcome back to Hirashi. Uh, excuse me if I'm reading a little bit faster than I normally do. My, I, I had to catch up with the first 12 minutes. My laptop decided to just randomly completely freeze. And I'm like, uh, and I hate rereading things. Um, do have it, like I said, and well, like I said beforehand, before my video, my computer froze, I do plan on doing another chugging video. I know people have been asking me about that lately. I plan on doing another one at some point this week, hopefully soon. So yeah, let's straight and get back to where it was. Um, the Child Constellation Center had finally contacted Satoko's uncle after finding out she was missing from school for three days in a row. And I'll try and slow down my little bit reading when I get back to where I was. I'll let y'all know where I was at. Um, I'm sure it's because of our efforts that Satoko was able to come to school today. However, we couldn't really celebrate after seeing her painful expression. Satoko, we were worried about you. Are you sure nothing happened to you these past three days? I really did have a fever the whole time. I am sorry for making you all worry. She started telling us why she had been at school. No, my lady, we didn't ask her that. Her uncle must have told her to say that to everyone. It's so painful to see her like this. Rena seemed more angry than sad. Inside, I felt the same way. I felt like my anger was boiling up and lodging painfully in my throat. He was willing to let come to school because he was now certain that she wouldn't do anything that would put him at a disadvantage. He was treating her like a tamed animal. It was too late already? I thought of the broken Satoko I once saw in my imaginary world. Satoko, do your best, okay? Of course I will. I'm doing well, even though Nini isn't here with me. I slowly reached out my hand toward her head. As a reward for doing your best, I'll pat your head. Do you, do you mind? She didn't reply, but she didn't refuse either. I slowly put my hand on her head. She didn't react to it, but a tear rolled down from her eye, eye all of a sudden. Was she crying because she didn't want to be touched? No, that wasn't it. Rather, it was the opposite. If I stopped patting her head, I hurt her feelings. Satoko felt obligated to survive without her nini, but that didn't mean she didn't want anyone else's help. She couldn't appreciate my, my patting her head openly. Satoko had no choice but to cry in silence. Satoko-chan, we won't tell anyone if you cry right now. After Rina said that, Satoko started crying like a baby. I felt relieved knowing that it wasn't too late. She hadn't yet suffered from the fatal emotional wound that I saw in my imaginary world. However, her tears made it clear that I needed to save her as soon as possible, no matter what the whole world might say to me. Satoko, everyone is going to help save you. I promise you that. Satoko, we weren't just doing nothing for these past three days, right, Ki-chan? Right, we're take, making an appeal to the Child Constellation Center. We're asking him to save you from your horrible uncle. You don't have to do that for me. It's not just us, right, tomita Khan. It's not just me either. Okamura and the whole class are fighting for you. That's right, we all went to the Child Constellation Center together. We're going to date too. Right, my bear son. Yep, we're not going to save, give up until we save you. All the boys and the girls in the class answered my call with their cheers. Stoko seemed a little surprised, but then soon became expressionless again. He said, why the social worker came to my house? That wasn't really necessary of you. Stoko, did he hurt you because of that? She wouldn't answer. I couldn't tell that silence what that really meant. Soon after Chisa's ate into their classroom, she must have heard the whole the noise we were making. Hojo san, are you feeling better now? We didn't know for sure if she was really sick or not. All of us, including Chi, said they were feeling the same thing. Yes, I am fine. I'm sorry for worrying you. Everything is alright now. Will you be attending school regularly from now on? Yes, you don't have to continue worrying about me. You don't have to talk to any more social workers, Hojo san. If you feel overwhelmed, you can come stay with me. I'm on your side, okay? You're welcome at my house any time. Hey, Jesus, I don't look like you're the only one who can help her. So, Toko, we're all on your side here. That's right. You can come to my apartment, too. We have an extra room, so you can use that as your own. She can't do that. So, Toko is my pet. She has to come back to my house, Nipa. See, you're not alone. Everyone is trying so hard to save you, but I don't know if people at the Child's Constellation Center will ever understand how we feel. What if a witchy son told me yesterday was true? Then, once they learned this, was it the will of all of Hidden Masawa? Once they learned, it's only her classmates creating a stir. They might harden their stance against us. All we had a plan was to go there for more people and ask for the same thing. The child constellation said anyone's going to say the same thing to us too. It wasn't going to be any different from yesterday. They tell us that it's only normal for her uncle to take care of Satoko because he's legally her guardian. They'd also tell us that there's no proof of any abuse happening. And why do they think that? Because Satoko wasn't meant to be abused. I appreciate your kindness, but I'm fine. That's a lie. We're in a smoke with that smile, but her words cut sharp. And yeah, it's storming, guys, just in case you had not hear that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you're not okay, Satoko Chen. You're not feeling us well enough, all of us here. And many more people know you're in pain right now. That's why we're doing our best to stand up and help you. 
We're reaching out our hands so we can save you from your struggle, but we can't save you without you helping too. She's right to struggle, no matter what we say to the say, now they'll help, but they'll tell us that there's no abuse here because you're denying that's happening. Whew, a man trying to catch up is hard. <sighs> we all want to help you, but we can't if you don't accept our help. I understand. I was just like you once. I thought no one could help me. I thought whatever I was doing was the only thing I could do. That's why I didn't accept my friend's help. But someone taught me something. I can't remember who it was, but someone taught me something. The world do what most is right in front of you, but you won't get there unless you take our hands. It doesn't mean anything for the only ones reaching out, so Toko Chen, you have to reach your hand to us too. When we take each other's hands, we return to the world we wish for. Reina, who told you that? <laughs> I don't remember. I think I heard it before I went to kindergarten. I can't remember who told me that. But I can still clearly and learn. remember that feeling. I'm here because of what that person taught me. I agree. Whoever t it was that taught that Reina, he wasn't wrong. So Toko, do you think it's better not to ask for help? Do you think that's the best thing you could do? But you're wrong about that. Look at yourself in the mirror. Is that the face you want to wear? I'm sure it's not. You know, any part of this world, we can bring you back to the world you want to live in. We're reaching out our hands. Those things are almost touching you, but we can't just reach far enough. If we could, we'd pull you by the hair to get you out of this mess. But we can't make it, so you have to reach out your hand, too. Our hands are right here. They're right in front of your nose, so take them. If you just reach out our, your hand, we can pull you to a happier world. Satoka wouldn't reach out her hand. She stared at mine, still praying for something. Her fingers were shaking, but Satoka wouldn't try to reach out her hand toward mine. I felt like screaming out of anger, but I didn't want to scare her. If I did that, she'd never trust me again. All I could do was wait for her to reach out her hand. Thank you very much. I really, I do appreciate it, but I really am perfectly fine. I really, ugh. Satoko. She needs more time. Satoko needs more time to sort out her feelings, but her time was timeline was getting closer and closer. It was unfortunate that Satoko didn't even realize that herself. The next moment we heard something approaching the classroom. But the sound of the footsteps we could tell that it was the principal, and so I couldn't tell why Satoko was twitching like she just got electrocuted. The door quickly opened and the principal strode inside. He seemed relieved to see Satoko back in school. However, Satoko reacted both dramatically and bizarrely. She let out an inexplicable scream and to the back of the classroom and hid behind the curtain. No one in the classroom could understand her actions. We never even considered that it was because the principal had entered the room. The principal, however, realized it immediately, so Toko was scared to see him. Hojo kun. Is everything alright? He spoke in a calm voice, but Satoko was still afraid. It was as plain as to all of us that Satoko was frightened at the sight of the principal, but none of us could understand why. Are you okay, Satoko? You don't need to be afraid. We're all on your side. My uncle is here. My uncle is here. Everyone here thought for sure that Satoko's uncle was trying to get her. We all rose up and shielded Satoko and searched her surroundings. I had yet to see her uncle's face, but we were in a school now. If someone unfamiliar showed up, I could spot him immediately. Immediately, we turned his force to talk with leaves and forget everything else. I in the fight right here. Me and the are thinking the same thing. However, while Satoko remained frightened, we couldn't we couldn't find sight of her uncle. Satoko was trembling as if he was already here inside our classroom, but there was no sign of him. Finally, I realized the truth. Satoko was frightened by the figure of the principal. I could understand that she was scared of his footsteps, but she was afraid, to terrified after he showed his face. That was not normal. It was made clear to me how much stress Satoko was dealing with. Riku Chen hushed Satoko and whispered into her ear. It's okay, your uncle isn't here. Your mean uncle isn't here. But he's right there. My uncle's right there. He's come to take me back home. Come out, Satoko. Did you take your shot today? My uncle's here. My uncle's here. Wham, wham. Nini, Nini, her shot. What are you talking about, Riku Chen? He, she, she needs her help. Just tell us Satoko's in the emergency. Hurry up. She said, hey, let's take her to the nurse's office. What's wrong, Satoko Chen? Satoko Chen, let's call the coach. He needs to see a doctor. Does anyone have his number? I do. Let's go to the phone teacher's office. I headed to the nurse's office after I asked Man to make a phone call to the doctor. There were lots of students surrounding the office. She says he was forcing out the other kids who had entered the room with them. I snuck behind her and turned it myself. Satoko was lying down on the bed, still shaky with fear. Rina and Rika were laying with her there and trying to calm her down. They spoke quietly and did not scare Satoko. She okay? What's going on with her? Um, I don't really know. She's very scared. She thought the principal was her uncle. Hearing that made it easier to understand, but it was still hard to believe. But he had been around in front of us. He had spoken to her in such a kind voice. It was really hard to believe that she couldn't tell that it was the principal. When there's a dark spot on the wall, what does it look like to you? What? And people who hate flies will think it's a fly. It may look like a spider or a cockroach if that's what you hate. People tend to sense something they don't like when they can't really tell what something is. She thought of her uncle when she heard the principal's footsteps, but she was still scared even after he showed up. The illness of Toko has prevented her from correcting those misassumptions easily. What does that mean, illness? I tried to ask Riku Chen, now but Satoko became even more frightened. Riku Chen held her head and gently trying to calm her down. 
Rina tapped my shoulder. It was time. It was indicating to me that we should re leave Rika and Satoko alone in the room. I agreed with her. Satoko was in tremendous shock. We were going back to the classroom for now. Yes, please do. Rina and I left the nurse's office. My classmates were still asking Jesus about Satoko's condition. As soon as they saw me, they walked in and were asked how she was. Let's leave up to Rika Chang for now. Satoko is very frightened. Please don't do anything to make her afraid. She will only get more scared if we continue to make this much noise. And that's where I was, guys. I'm going to take a few minute break here to catch my breath up a little bit. Okay, that was good enough. And let's get back to the classroom. Coach will be here soon and he'll take care of her. You called him, right? Me, Chan? Yeah, I'll be here right away. He said to let Rika Chan take care of her and not to let her out of the nurse's office. Get back to the class, everyone. We're going to start homeroom. While the teacher looked at her attendance, a car arrived on the school premises. Everyone's attention was drawn to it. Three people with white gowns came out of the vehicle. I ran into the school in a hurry. We were surprised to see three people show up. It made us all worried that Stoko was in more shape than we realized. She says they felt the same way. She led the class to me on and hurried up to the nurse's office. Despite her worries, Satoko returned to the classroom about 10 minutes later. Though she still was depressed, she was in the morning, but she no longer in a state of panic. Satoko, are you okay now? I think you should rest some more. I'm sorry for scaring you. I'm fine now. Satoko Chen, Satoko seemed bothered by the way you were worrying about her. She used to say also returned to the classroom at the same time. I snuck out so I could talk to Ari and his staff. I saw him not going to Rika Chen. Coach, is Satoko really okay? My embarrassed son. Yeah, she's fine for now. We would keep an eye on her, though. It was just a little panic attack. She's all good now. Just a little panic attack. Are you sure? You were saying that Satoko had some kind of illness. Well, I should be going. Please call me if anything happens. Coach bowed and left without making any comment. It was like he was avoiding my question about Satoko's condition. Kichi, can you promise to keep a secret? What? Oh, sure. Satoko's been sick since a few years ago. She's been needing treatment for that illness for a long time. It was surprising to hear that. That meant she was already sick when I first met her. I never seen any sign of that, though. That disease can't be cured easily, but she can live a normal life as long as she gets proper treatment and medication. I see. It sounds like it's under control. I had no idea she was sick until you just told me about it. She should be fine, right? She's hardly in good condition, so that makes me hesitate to use the word fine. What kind of disease could Satoko have? Based on what I saw earlier, she might have a mental illness rather than a physical one. It might be because of how she was showed about how she was abused in the past. I've heard that mental trauma is not easy to cure and it needs a medical attention at times. So that must be what's going on with her. Satoko has to take two shots every day. Since her uncle's bullying her, she forgot to take her shot this morning. Even if Satoko becomes emotionally unstable and she doesn't take those shots, we could check not it quietly. Really, it was quite a shock. The Satoko I know is an energetic, mischievous girl who is always bouncing around like a ball, super ball. I can't believe that she turned into a scared little animal just by forgetting to take a shot. She becomes very afraid when she doesn't get her shots, when something happens suddenly, or when she hears a strange noise or sees something unusual, she feels like there are the things that are coming to harm her, so she thought her uncle came to school when she heard the principal's footsteps. That's right, once she was convinced herself that the footsteps belonged to her uncle, that became the truth for her, even after she saw the principal's face, her mind told her that it was her uncle. She said she couldn't organize information quickly enough, is that what her illness is all about? I don't even know what disease is called. I feel so bad for her. I had no clue that she'd been finding this condition for so long, that poor girl. Kichi, please don't tell Satoko anything about her illness. Why not? I guess I shouldn't ask. It might not be nice saying to talk to her about her mental illness. I guess that's what she's trying to tell me. She came back to the classroom. Is she okay now? Ari gave her an injection, so she's alright for now. She's seriously sick to the point where she requires a doctor's situation attention. I realized that in the next moment, hey, maybe we can have her hospitalized. We could force her to stay in the hospital even if she refuses. That way we could save her from her uncle. Yes, it's a great idea. I already suggested that before, but Satoko refused. It's not about her refusing or not. If the doctor tells her to stay, Kichi, if Satoko doesn't go back home, her uncle is going to get rid of her in his room. What? Satoko feels obligated to protect the Hojo prisons until Satoshi comes home. He was taking advantage of her. Tete was telling her that he'd get rid of Satoshi's room and she didn't stay with him. That's horrible. Please don't tell anyone about this. 
She is not good at controlling herself, so she might get very angry about this. I'm sure she brought up Shiyama was also furious about it. I had to calm down though. I needed everyone's help in order to save Satoko. I couldn't ruin everything by acting foolishly. I had no time to stop. Damn it. If Satoko asked us for help, we could help her right away. Just because she didn't ask them, she didn't need it. As her friends, we had to help her. Especially after learning that she was controlling her by threatening to get rid of Satoshi's room. She told you that he's starting her right. She can't we take that as an SOS. We could change not as slightly. Kichi, we don't have much time left. That's what I was all too aware of. She had a panic attack just because she didn't take her shot this morning, but if she stayed in her current environment, it'd be too late to save her in a matter of days. I saw her future when I saw Satoko crying behind the curtain this morning. This is the third day. We have ten more times the people on our side than we had on the first day, but we're not going to stop there. Kichi, it won't be that easy to save Satoko. I've tried many times before, but never succeeded. Really? You don't remember, but you're different this time. I think you're getting very close to saving her. I believe that you're someone who can defeat fate. What does she mean when she said I didn't remember? I didn't have time to ask questions, so yeah, you're right. I'll defeat fate. Just watch me. A huge crowd had formed in front of the library. It was hard to believe that over 50 people had assembled in front of such a quiet place. Okay, things are getting interesting today. That's my bear son. He's our leader today. You're glad to meet you. Kometa could have a bunch of athletes with them. They were all very tall and full of spirit. Being greeted by a bunch of people at once made me feel uncomfortable. I shouldn't feel so intimidated that the commander can't act bashful in front of his troops. Following after them are nameless comrades who sympathized with their plight at Angel Mort yesterday. I hate to say it, but I never expected any of them to actually show up. Seeing them all here to support us made me feel glad. They seem plenty pumped up too, right? Raising up feverish cries, shrieks? Commander Khan did so much for me. He brought not only his teammates, but people from Angel Mort. I couldn't thank him enough. Don't worry, Kay, we're all but brothers at Angel Mort. I heard from the people who went to the dessert fiesta today that the dessert named Innocent Blue Sunday is the blessed, best one. Let's eat it together this summer. Kichi Khan, this is incredible. You gather this many people by yourself. Hello, I never expected you to get this many people here. Good job, hee <laughs> hee. The Minikan Takano san, why are you two here? Oh, you didn't know? They told us they'd come at the meeting last night. The coach is supposed to be here, too. Sorry, man, you wait so long. I'm sorry for being so late. It took me a while to leave the clinic. Wow, coach, that's amazing. That's amazing. Coach, I brought some of Sasha's headbands and banners with them. He was so well prepared. As Sasha's and him headbands read, Save the Toko Hojo, and the Constellation Center must take action immediately. They were perfect for our protest. He had brought lots of extras along, too. The Colonel Sun and Sean handed them out to the other supporters. You know, Coach, I love that style of yours, but you earned some respect today. You know, I really like these things. Not all 60 of us know each other, but we all wear the same headbands. I start to feel a real sense of unity. It feels like I'm back at the damn conflict. The people of the Nimbus were wearing headbands and such. It's just like these. It was like they were invincible. No one could make them stop. Tamataka-san was exactly right. Even the kids from Okunami were willing to wear the headbands. It was like we were supporting a baseball team. Here, Rika-san. took us a while to get all these made. Ari. I'll do everything I can. I'll do my best to help us rescue Satoko-chan. Here, these are yours, Kijika. And I felt like a field trip yesterday, but it's really totally different. Yeah, I agree. I figured I'm showing in a greater never would intimidate them, but this has way more impact. Plus, really are important after all. It's just about time. Call us attention, Captain. Captain, I'm just the person who set this up. Kichika, you need to act more like a leader. Get up there and stand strong. I walked down from everyone while Tomateka some took pictures. Everyone went quiet and turned their gaze to me. I felt so nervous, but at the same time, I also felt really thrilled to see all of our comrades here. Thanks for being here today, everyone. As you know, it's been only four days since my classmates at Toko Hojo was taken by her uncle. Elkin claimed to be her legal guardian. He used to beat her, and he neglected her for a whole year so he could live with his lover here in Okunomiya. The Child Constellation Center must urgently take care of this matter and save Satoko from him. 
they're putting her case on hold. They just don't understand how much of an emergency this is. Today we're going to attend our third appeal so as to get them to save her as soon as possible. For those who saw Satoko Chang at school today, you should all know she was at her wits end after only four days. We can't leave her in that environment any longer. This is our third attempt. We have so many people on our side too. Let's, them, let's let them know how important this is. We're not going to neglect our friend. Amazing, this is really the return of the damn conflict. My bear cat wasn't even living here when that happened. This is quite interesting. There must be something about this village that brings people together. That's just the culture here, I think. Something like this happening was inevitable. I came from a city where neighbors don't even know each other's faces. I'm an old jealous. And that's a bit rich coming from someone who keeps complaining about the lack of trains. All units prepared for assault. Give us the order to lay our lives down today, Your Excellency. Press our dams, rescue the target. Everyone follow case command. Yeah, 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 y'all. Everyone had that much vigor before we'd even enter the building. They had, to, they had to have heard what was going on outside. In fact, panicked looking people were staring at us out the windows. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. I already pushed me forward and took in the first step of our third attempt with the weight of 60 people on my shoulders. We went through the automatic door to slowly cross 20 meters to the counter. How will they take this? The first day it was just a counselor. Yesterday it was a manager. They go get the guy in charge today. I don't know, but I'm sure they'll understand just how much we care about her. Uh, hello, how am I help you today? Same as yesterday, we're here to appeal for an immediate action on VF of Satoko Hojo. At the far end of the office, I saw the manager from yesterday talking to a guy sitting behind an important looking desk. I could tell he was intimidated to see so many people. <laughs> Sean said that this was a day we finally closed the deal, but I couldn't be that optimistic yet. To be honest, the current numbers are probably the maximum number of people I could get. So that what we would do if they didn't say and work out today. I put up a brave front, but internally I was nearly cracking with the anxiety. But looking at the helpful, encouraging expression on Rena's face as she walked beside me helped me disperse those timid feelings. Rena might hold the very same worries inside of her heart. Everyone must be worrying if we can really save Satoko or not. But today we were supporting each other by hiding those worries. That was unmistakably our team's strong point. We could never have gathered so much energy and strength if we were alone. That power can only be created when people work together. It takes for, forever for a drop of water to wear away at one rock, but a tsunami can break it into pieces in a second. The manager approached the counter. He started speaking to me, saying that as the meeting room wasn't open today, he couldn't let us all in one room. However, the head of the office was willing to see us so we could use the reception area in front of his desk. Since the room was so small, however, he asked us to choose three representatives to come inside. I am truly sorry. We hope you understand this is out of concern for our visitors and show that you're willing to cooperate. We were here with all these people and they were only letting three of us inside. I want to refuse the offer, but Mion told me to take it. If we occupied the office with our numbers, they could fault us for obstructing our business. I think they're intimidated enough. The head of the office is willing to take you with, talk, willing to talk with you today. I think that's the best dream you can get from them. They are all shaking like scaredy cats. Haha, <laughs> meow meow. Still, it's definitely a lie that the mean room isn't available today. I think so too, but me Chen is right. I think they're intimidated they enough. The head of the office is the top of the whole organization. If he's willing to talk with us today, we might have a compromise as well. If we refuse to see him, that will go on record. We don't want them to be able to claim that we refuse to talk to them. I think we should make it clear that we're here to have a conversation. <laughs> It was good to get suggestions of so many different people. It was only me. I would have gotten pissed off and left. That was probably not the best idea. Once again, I felt how important it was that we were our team. I understand. Three of us will go talk to him then, but who should it be? Kichigan, you have to go. Other than you, I think Coach Amichin should be the best choice. If the head of the office recognizes me, they'll think that's as the son of Saki family's doing. I can't let him think that since my family has nothing to do with this case. Mm, I'm really sorry, but it's those adult circumstances again. Saving Satoko is our fight. That old hack has nothing to do with this anyway. How about you, Rina son? You should go and talk with them. I don't mind, but how about you, Rika Chen? Me? It's Satoko's best friend. I think he should be a representative. Mika Chen is a quiet girl, so it's hard for them to understand what she's thinking. However, she's Satoko's best friend, and she had been living with her for the past year, as if they were family. She was the strongest bond with Satoko out of any of us. 
All right, Coach, we could check on me. We were going in. Roger, I'll get everything under control. And we all winked at me and started explaining the situation to everyone else. Guys, I'm gonna take a few minute break here. I got, I really gotta get my laundry in. I did, I didn't expect it to take this long into the morning to make this video. All right, I am back and let's go. Uh, I never thought I'd be chosen as one of the representatives. I'm not a very good speaker, so really, right now, she should have been picked instead of me. But I just couldn't even refuse what they told me. Said the coach's best friend should be the one to go. They told us to sit on the couch inside the visitors' room. The counselor, the manager, and the head of the office were there. They were the, the way they treated us was improving every time we came. I didn't know if today's appeal would change anything, but I was starting to feel the direction in the fate shift little by little. <coughs> what do you think, Rika? Things have changed dramatically in only a few days. I have no idea what will happen next. And you appear beside me. It had been a while since she showed up. And he was assuming that we still wouldn't be able to save the Toko Nurse World either. She always felt it was best just to watch what happened without hoping for a positive change. It had been hurt so many times to being betrayed while hoping for change. Surely this wasn't good for my soul. I've been beaten down over and over again. It's better to be quiet and do nothing. It's better not to expect change. That way, if something bad happens, I won't feel pain. My fate was already a dead end. But was this really true? I did my best in many of my previous lives. However, I'd only acted alone. A miracle only happens when anyone combines their efforts. I was starting to feel the depth of what that meant. But even so, Satoko didn't guarantee what we, that we could save Satoko. It was the best chance I had so far. Certainly, that wasn't still the improving thing. I could call it a miracle just yet. A miracle is something far more dramatic. So this wasn't a miracle. It wasn't a miracle just yet. There was still someone else who needed to reach out for this to become a miracle. Everyone else has been working so hard. If they truly believe they can bring about a miracle. Who amongst them doesn't believe is that there's someone who was not reaching out their hand like anyone else is doing. Basically, it's because of Satoko that a miracle won't occur. Things won't change unless you start seeking help herself. I know, but that isn't so easy for her. Everyone is trying to save Satoko, but she's not reaching out her hand in return. Before they even came here, they should have tried persuading her first. Do you think we should tell her to reach out her hand? Yes, I know that's not an easy thing for her, but it wouldn't be a dif this difficult as waiting for another world as fortunate as this one. In any case, I'm the only one with the key to open her heart. I'm like family to Satoko. I know she thinks the same. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Satoko is like family to me as well. No, my feelings toward her are even deeper than that. It might only be one year for Satoko, but I spent decades with her, you know. I've just realized something. I know why this isn't a miracle yet. Why is that? For a miracle to happen, everyone must come together, but someone is still missing. One person is still not working with everyone. That's why the miracle hasn't occurred. Are you talking about Satoko? <laughs> no, it's me. I'm talking about me. I've just been observing them like a spectator. I've been tired of this eternally repeating world and acted like a witch. I had forgotten that powerful feelings needed to change fate. In other words, it's like I was supposed to be an actress but just sitting back and eating popcorn. I'm not a spectator, I'm one of the people on stage, and that's why this play was never successful. In the world, Rin took over the school. If I hadn't done anything, Kichi would have died in an explosion because I got on the stage like I was supposed to. They played it in that way. I'm a part of this world too. It was such an obvious thing that I must have forgotten a long time ago. I have to open up to heart. I have to set her free from Satoshi. I'm sure someone else couldn't do that too, but I have the greatest chance of success. If I don't get up on that stage again, the miracle is never going to happen. Rika, you once did the same thing over and over again and got hurt, remember? Are you going to make the same mistake again? I'm aware of that, but I'll never end up in a world as fortunate again. The cheap result to try hard again in the next world will just cause my efforts to reach a dead end somewhere else. Far more easily and in a more hopeless form that it will in this world. And this is my last chance. If this world doesn't work out, then I'm going to give up. What? And you looked at me with surprise. 
for us to determine giving that means a lot more than what it sounds like. It is the only thing that will accept my fate. It means that I will accept the dead end waiting for me. In other words, accept my death. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will eat no regrets occur even when we haven't made an effort you know I was blessed with such a fortunate world this time I mean I never thought her uncle would come back but overall this has been a very lucky life and with this wind at our backs I think I probably unfurled myself as far as I can that's why I believe this time will be different now so I don't think if this doesn't work out nothing well if that happens I'll think I'll be able to finally give up I will, don't say that at all I'm the only person who can communicate with Hanny. If I disappear, she will have to go on with her life alone. That's the last thing Hanny wants to happen. Perhaps that's why Hanny says the things she does. She doesn't want my life spent in weather way by getting hurt emotionally. You see, I belong here in this play. You show me how to enjoy watching it, but the play won't move on as long as I refuse to act. Surely that's why it always results in a dead end. Rika, I'm sure that one day you'll get another fortune in life where her uncle doesn't come back. I'm sure that you'll roll next year six next time. A fortune in a world like this worse if the good's uncle doesn't come back. You're right, that's really that really would be wonderful. So still trying to beat my fate of dead is another issue entirely. That sounds wonderful, but it's still not guaranteed. Let's wait for another opportunity, please. Oh well. Please don't say that you're gonna give up after this world. If I die, no one will ever hear you cry again. All you'll ever be able to do is make people sense your presence by making noise. Oh well. well. Well, I'm going to be heading back to the stage. I'm going to do what I can. You're sick of repeating all of this over and over again, aren't you? I'd rather repeat everything than to spend the rest of my life without you. Apparently, she thinks it's time to strive me mad is far better than having no one to talk to. But this is just how she feels. I want to overcome fate and steal it in the future, too. But it wouldn't mean anything if you weren't there with me. I'm sure that's similar to my own claim, but there's no point in living past June 1983 if I'm the only one who does. My ideal for future is to survive past June 1983 and let the happy times continue like always without anyone missing. And you feels the same way. She doesn't want a world where I'm not by her side. We're repeating this world only because we wish to do so. It wasn't just Hagney's power. It was one that we shared together. And you wants me to be with me just like I want to build on myself a happy future. Even what we both want the same thing. But if I refuse to repeat the world again, my long life will be over. Yeah, I never refused to own by how sick and tired of it I was. For over a hundred years, I kept believing that something good would eventually happen eventually. However, our power is weakening. We can only go back a few weeks at most. We have so little time left to try and change our fate. If we keep it up, eventually we'd only be able to go back to the morning of the day I was going to die. That'd be a dead end for sure. I don't think life is this fortunate and will ever become my way again. If my time was unlimited, I'm sure that would eventually happen, but I can't count on that happening and what time I do have left. And you told me to wait for another chance because she doesn't want to see me losing myself, but she isn't feeling the time limit like I am. I said not made her die over and over again. Before I end up in that hell, I want to pull the curtain down with my own hands. This is going to be my last world. If this one doesn't work out, I'm not going to repeat it again. Ow, 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 ow. Let me translate what she's trying to say. This world is no different from any other world. You're not going to win, so don't bet on this life. Your life's been as not as short as you think. You should wait for your next opportunity in this in this June. Stay with me until then. Stay with me and wait for the next chance. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? Oh, oh. Then why don't you just pray for us? Pray that we can persuade the child constellation sooner and save the talk go. Pray that I can defeat the fate of 1983. If I overcome this fate, let's all do things I promised I do. Let's eat this year's watermelon while enjoying the evening breeze through the window. What kind of fall are we going to have? How much snow will we get in this winter? And let's enjoy the weather. Let's enjoy all sorts of things we've never seen. Let's watch the next episode of that TV show we like. Let's enjoy our future together. You always say we were going to work hard until that day came, but it's not fair for you to say that we're going to give up. When just this life doesn't work out, I'm sorry that I couldn't keep that promise. Oh, I'm sure that we'll come over this way. You'll be there with me and you. Let's look up at the blue sky when that happens. I'm sure that the sky of the summer of 1983 is more beautiful than any sky you've ever seen. I'm sure I'm going to make that miracle happen in this world. God didn't design humans so they could redo their lives over and over again like me. People usually only have one chance, yet they can still make miracles happen with effort. They work so hard because they know that they'll never have a chance to do this over again. That's why miracles occur. But if I can't make that one happen with all that, I just have to give up. I don't need another life. I'm going to make a miracle happen in this one. My friends taught me that happen. Oh, my friends taught me that. They taught me that miracles can happen when everyone works together. So it's going to happen. We will make it happen. We're going to have a wonderful future in this life. Rika. Oh, oh, oh. 
Penny disappears sobbing sadly. She's no longer in my sight, but I can still talk to her. Penny, we're going to have a bright future in this world. Just trust me, if you would give me your power, it would be easier to make a miracle happen. This is the best possible stage I can hope for. The actors on the stage and the audience before can help each other. If you wish, you, the audience, can change the story, too. I made my decision. I'm going to go up on stage. I'm not going to complain anymore. I'll do my best, just like Kiji and my other friends. I'm not going to make any more excuses. I'm not going to wait for another fortunate world. I have to do my best in this one. I'm not going to, I'm not talking about my decision to die after this world is over. I'm just saying that people are meant to only have one chance to live. That's why they work so hard, because I have so many chances to redo my life. I have been working hard enough. I was never able to make that miracle happen. In my previous life, Raina took over the school because I'd gotten her away. Kichi made it in time to stop the explosion. The story changed because I decided to get up on the stage. Perhaps in my other lives before that, I could have changed my situation if I worked hard enough without giving up. But I kept giving up so easily and eventually lost my interest in those worlds. And so a miracle never happened, and a miracle never happened because I was always relying on the fact that I'd have another chance. Can you? I hope you can understand. Please don't be sad and work hard with me in this world. I couldn't tell if she understood me. I assertively spoke to the officials about how much danger stuff goes in. Kichi and Ari also made their appeals from the bottom of their hearts. I had no idea how the consolations in earth look, took what we said so passionately. All I could do was pray. How was it, Ki-chan? Well, it felt like a repeat of yesterday. We both went over the same things we talked about then. We're still not reaching them. I guess they said they look at matters more carefully. Pretty much. They said they would visit once a week and make a decision one month from now. They are going to leave her with their uncle for one whole month. How come they can't understand how much Satoko will be hurt in that time? Maybe our son clearly explains to them the danger she's facing. I also told them what happened to her last year, however... They're really not going to consider it an urgent case, and the stucco seeks help herself. I don't mean to cut into your conversation, but this is possible for you to get. But is it possible for you to get Satoko to ask for help? He said that he's going to destroy the Satoshi Gun's room if she tries to leave him. What a horrible thing to say. They're still not changing their minds. Satoko can't even ask for help because she's being taken advantage of. The purpose of a child consolation center is to protect children. I'm starting to get angry with more. I thought about it. As I thought about it, I more realized that they're just trying to do their job. It was just that their opinions differed about the degree of urgency. We told them to save Satoko as soon as possible. They told us that she could be the one asking for help. That she should be. Is there any way to resolve this? Is there any way to get an SOS from her? We spoke to them about that. It seemed like they were listening closely to us, but also sounded like they're still not going to take any action. Then when one of the heads of the office showed up, I thought I could change things today, but... Everything went the same as yesterday, and we still weren't able to persuade them. However, I'm sure we're making progress. It might seem like they're withstanding our blows at first glance, but they're feeling the weight behind them. We're not going to give up just because we didn't work out today. We're going to fight until they get off their butts and save the Toko. I told them that we're going to do this again tomorrow, too, but we might get less people next time. This is really annoying. We're working so hard, but this is all we can do. Damn it, we can't give up yet. We might have less people tomorrow, but we're not going to call off our fourth appeal. I mean, even if no one comes, I'm going. I'm not going to give up until they agree to help Satoko Chan. Same here. I'm never going to give up. Thank you, Mion. I'll take with whoever comes. I can see you guys up in the window. Those spinners might have looked really intimidating to them. Uh, I'm glad I stayed up all night to make them. Thank you for your sashes, too, Irie. No problem. I wish I could do more than this. I'm going to get more involved. I was about to give up on saving Satoko by seeing Kichi and Ari. Talking with the head of the office saying made me feel motivated. Rika Chen was always watching us from afar and made me a little happy to see Rika Chen getting more active in the whole movement. I wonder what Rika Chen can do. The next time I see Satoko, I'm going to persuade her to seek to help. I don't think I'm the only one who can do that. The same thing was all on our minds. This year will be resolved the moment Satoko seeks help. Well, nobody can say that to her because we all know that she's been dealing with the memories of her brother. Satoko, I know how you feel about Satoshi, but this is different. Please don't ask the Constellation Center to help you. As long as you're seeking help, they're ready to save you any time. Don't be afraid that your uncle is going to destroy Satoshi's room. Please ask them to save you. But without even knowing Satoshi's face, I could never say that to her. The only person who can ask her to seek help is Riku Chen. She's been living with her for the past year, and she's only like family. 
That's true. I told her today, but she didn't listen to me. It's sad that the only person who can really talk to Satoko Chen is Rika Chen. I wish I could talk to her too, but I agree. Rika's drama is her best friend. If she can persuade her, no one can. If we could open Satoko Chen's heart, I'm sure everything will be resolved itself. It might be better to approach it rather than going to the child constellation center like this. That's not quite true, although Rina isn't wrong either, we both have to reach out our hands. Satoko needs to reach out her hand too. I also have to do the same. If anyone doesn't work together, a miracle is not going to happen. I didn't work hard enough because I didn't believe we could do it. So that miracle never happened. I'm going to make a greater effort, so I'm sure Satoko will take my hand. Uh, I can't really explain what I want to say. I'm sorry. Rika shouldn't usually be a quiet girl, but she talks a lot every once in a while. Just because she's quiet doesn't mean that she's not thinking about anything. In fact, because she's quiet, she must have a lot inside her heart that she's never expressed. We are going to continue our appeal to the Constellation Center. We could change it's going to persuade Satoko. This is the best approach, or at least the best one I can think of. It might be slow and quiet, but now that I'm in the game, I can't quit until I win. If I gave up, I'd lose everything not a bet on. We're going to save Satoko. We just have to work together, but obviously we don't have much time left to fight. What to do? We're definitely going to have less people tomorrow. In other words, we can't intimidate the Child's Constellation Center any more than we did today. I couldn't see any way to break the deadlock with the Constellation Center. So I had no choice but to swallow down the irritation starting to boil up in my chest and pretend not to notice it. It's getting pretty dark at me outside you should tell you when to go home now. I have a festival committee meeting tonight so I have to head straight there after this. Uh, I need to go to the meeting too. I almost forgot I, meant I had to go too. Well, it wouldn't be a big deal if I missed a meeting. Missed a mean? Okay, meeting, yeah, okay. I should still go. I don't understand most of the things they're even talking about there, but I don't want to be rude. I'd have no choice but to go. I guess we need to wrap things up for today, otherwise you're not going to make it in time for the meeting. And now thank all the people who came today and told them to meet at the same place at the same time tomorrow. And with that, the third day of our desperate appeal is over. Hello, it's me, Kichi. Yeah, I'll eat when I get home. I'm going straight to the assembly hall from here. Dad is on his way, right? Okay, got it. I called my mom and told her that I'm going to be going to the meeting without coming home. I get there kind of early, but if I went home first, I wouldn't make it in time. Me and Rika, Shen, and Ari were going to head there with me. Sean said that she was also coming, and now Rina didn't want to go home alone either. My dad won't be home until late tonight, so I'm coming too. I hope that's alright with you guys, I hope. That's fine with us. They'll be glad to see a bunch of young people there. The average age will plummet. <laughs> I want to say hi to Uncle Kimiyoshi too, I haven't seen them in a while. We all headed toward the fruit shine in the dim light. The light was on in the assembly building, some people had already arrived. Good evening, you guys are early. Hello, Mi Chen and her friends. Good evening, Dr. Iring. Good evening. You're here early. Uh, we don't have anything else to do. More people start coming into the meeting hall. Everyone seemed to come so early. I should probably come earlier from now on, too. I thought I saw a lot of fashionable shoes at the entrance today. There's lots of young people here. Xiang Chen has been so long. What brought you here today? Everyone felt to the newest arrival. It was the mayor, Kimi Yoshi-san. He strode into the room with the other committee members. Hello, it's been a while. I was hanging out with them and my sis, and he's happened to come along with them. He said, so, well, you're welcome here. You're coming to the Watanakashi Festival this year, right? Yes, I'm going this year for sure. I want to see Kichen hosting the auction, too. Well, I guess it's time for young people like you to take over the festival. By the way, I want to talk to you, Mian Chen. Can you come this way? Fine, what is it? Is it the guy from the refreshment booth theme still angry? <laughs> well... Mian head outside the room with Kimiyoshi and the other committee members. There's only one room in the building, so they have to go outside if they want to talk in private. Today is Thursday, so we only have three more days until the festival. Are you ready for the auction? There's not much time. I, I mean, there's not much I can do now. I'm ready to get up on that stage and do my thing now. I think Kiki performs best under pressure. Everyone laughed. We continue to chat about the festival. We talk about what kind of festival young people like us. We want to see that sort of stuff. Suddenly, Mian tapped me on the shoulder. Kicha, I need you for a second. She gestured for me to follow her out for I'm letting the others know. What does she want? Once outside, I see me, me on, and Jesus say the principal. Oh, Jesus say Mr. Principal. Good evening. Jesus didn't say response to my greeting, but he, the principal must not have heard me since he didn't. His eyes were closed. He seemed lost in thought. 
That side caused our happy chatty feelings to cool off quickly. My intuition told me this savvy to be something bad. I need to talk to you, maybe Erica, and that doesn't sound good. Are you going to the chocolate so she's sitting there again tomorrow? Yes, we'll keep fighting until they cease to talk with us our mission. I don't know if we'll get any supporters we did today, but we're going back there again to write me on. Maybe Erica, I know you've already made plans for tomorrow, but after that, I think you should wait and see what they do. Thanks to the advice of what she said last night, I already had an idea of the situation. Is this a warning she sent say? If our protest grows even bigger, the village officials will have to take notice of it. That's why you're telling me to quiet, quit now, isn't it? I better kind of think what you're doing is a good thing. You're not wrong to persuade the things you believe in. However, she stopped talking after that. She used to say was supporting us until just yesterday. She even came to the Child Consolation Center with us on the second day. So for her to start saying completely the opposite, I felt slightly dizzy from the shock of it. Huge and let me explain that in her state, she says they still support us as an individual. However, well, she's being pressured by the Board of Education or something. She used to say, well, never bow to pressure. You have no idea how courageous she is. She ignored the Board of Education that came to this village when the Hidden Cell Bridge School was still not approved by the government. I think Mian told me about that story before. The school was closed when the damn conflict happened. However, the village school, I mean, the village children still came to school to learn. There were no teachers here, though, because the school wasn't officially operated. That was when Chi Sensei arrived. After they won a damn conflict, the Sun Lucky family and the other villagers made an appeal, and the school's existence was finally approved. Our school did not have an easy start. The government was against it, but the villagers forced them to approve. Chi Sensei came along with us on our appeal yesterday. That is very courageous of her, but not people who want to close the school or pay attention to what we're doing. That based, that's basically it. Chi Sensei can't support us openly anymore. She and Sensei started up the ground as Mian spoke. I'd never seen her look so sad. If it was just about me, I wouldn't care what happened. I don't want to be a teacher who can't even fight for her own students, but I can't put the whole school in jeopardy. I don't know who told her this. Whoever it was, they warned her not to escalate things around Satoko's case. They threatened the existence of our school to make her obey and pressured her with responsibilities she couldn't take on her own. You know, yesterday, Oishi's son told me something similar in the exact same spot, too. He warned me that if I kept escalating this and I'd be fighting against the elders who stood on like the Hojo family or something like that. He told you that? Well, he's not really wrong. Mion looked at the ground along with Chi Sensei. I always thought Chi Sensei and Mion were stronger people. So seeing them both hanging their heads like this is helpless made me feel like they were being pushed into a dead end and I hated it. You were just at the Chalka so just sitting with us. She told everyone to come again tomorrow. That's the Mion I came to this meeting with, so when she gets swapped out with this weak Mion. And when I said that when this she gets swapped, I immediately thought of one thing. The mayor took her outside the building earlier, did he? I see he called you out here to talk about this dead name. Well, kind of. <laughs> I felt painful to see her fake a smile like that. She was only out here with them for about ten minutes. What the hell did he tell her that crushed her spirit? Mion, she said, the two of you are the strongest people I know. I respect you very much. I can't even imagine what kind of pressure would cause you to change your opinions overnight. I didn't feel like getting mad at them. They were just as pressured about saving the circle as I was. Towards them, I felt nothing but pity. My bear con. Alright, guys, I'm I gotta take a quick minute break. Ah, uh, great. Nah, sorry about that, guys. My dog wanted out of my room. Um, okay. My bear con, I don't know what to say. You don't need to apologize. I could feel an angry tone entering my voice. I've had it enough. Tell me something, why do you, the old people in the village still hate the Hojo family that much? The damn conflict is over, Satoko's fully innocent, isn't she? Why do they still hate her so much? Who hates her? Whose fault is this? I'm going to have a chat with whoever that is. I don't think anyone actually hates the Hojo family. What? What are you saying? It's true that the Hojo family was the enemy during the damn conflict. The whole village believed that. But after Satoko's parents died, people started realizing that she was innocent. But no one ever came forward to forgive her. I can explain why she on it wasn't just she on who appeared. We got every good channel was there with her. They come out to check on me and overheard what we were talking about. After United they turned the Hojo family into their scapegoat, the village is still living in fear, but not because they're scared of them, they're living in the fear that if they end up connected to the Hojo family they'd have to they'll be made a scapegoat by the village too. In other words, if you have a member of the Hojo family, you might get attacked by the village just like they did. They still feel that way years after the conflict. Is that true? Everyone was always nice to Satoko at school. Only the old people are involved in this, however, they're the core of the village. 
The Real believed that the leader of the Sonazaki family, Mike Grinning, still hates the Hojo family. But that's not true. Grinning is also afraid. She also thinks that if she forgives the Hojo family, the other elderly people will still lose trust in her. This is really complicated. So what do you mean? Who am I supposed to punch in the face? The truth is, no one really hates the Hojo family. They all think we should forgive them, but they can't come forward with that opinion. They're convinced that everyone else still hates the Hojo family. So everyone is misunderstanding each other. That's right. You can ask all of them individually. You'll see that no one really hates Satoko. Her parents' death marked the closure of that hatred. After her parents died, my grandma told everyone not to bother the Hojo family anymore. However, she still didn't tell people to forgive them. That probably is probably because of my father. Riku Chen's father, why is that? My father was so laid back that people started saying he didn't deserve to be a leader in the village anymore. Riku Chen's dad was a very relaxed guy. I think that helped him calmly resolve things. But at the time, people who were burning with anger about the damn project were looking for a more aggressive leader. And so my granny came forward and acted as one in order to unite the whole village. And because of her role as an aggressive leader, she came publicly and announced that she's going to forgive the Ojo family. Yeah, old people put a lot of stock into changing their minds. Not changing their minds, she can't reverse our policy so easily. But that's terrible. People are refusing to forgive Satoko Chen and blaming it on everyone else. They can't forgive her because I think of they're afraid of what other people might think. That's awful. During the damn project, a few households actually thought it would be fine to vacate their homes since they were getting compensation money from the government, but they couldn't say that out loud. The Hojo family, however, came forward with their opinion and announced that they were willing to vacate. Those households gained courage after seeing the Hojo family and they almost established a group of people who agreed to leave. I'm sure you understand this up to today, but in order to effectively protest something, everyone has to have the same opinion. It's important that the whole village is on the same page. Before the damn conflict, Hina Mazal was tearing itself apart instead of waging war. They said that it was because my father was such a lazy leader, he never thought they'd actually build a dam. He believed they would, would reach a peaceful resolution just by negotiating. People thought that's why some families started agreeing to leave. Supporting them, the plan to evacuate the sun's strength. This is the first I've heard of that. People in the village always said they supported the dam project. She's right, they usually claim that their enemies supported the project itself. It sounds worse if you call them the damn project supporters, but if you call them the evacuation supporters, doesn't it? If you call them evacuation supporters, it makes it sound like they're peaceful people who don't want to fight, but calling them damn project supporters makes it sound... I see, it supports more like a group of bad people trying to submerge their village underwater. It's all about appearances. Coach had appeared. He came outside after noticing how long we'd been gone. The village of the humans was brimming with a sense of unity. Uh, Starfruit was not able to unite the village. The Sonazaki family figured that they could seize power if they were to take charge of that unity. I'm starting to understand now. Let's phrase it a different way. In order to unite the village to attack the Hojo family who betrayed their sense of community, they'd use them to intimidate other people. They became afraid of the Hojo family, so they changed their minds and started protesting against the damn project. They held that if you interacted with the Hoja family, you were still probably a supporter of the damn project yourself. That's why everyone kept their distance from them. They acted like they didn't even see them. When someone from the family talked to them, they ignored it. Initially, they were targeting only Satoko Chen's parents, but eventually the whole family was seen as a target. As a result, her uncle and aunt were caught in the line of fire, too. It's kind of ironic. That was the reason they started abusing Satoko Chen to begin with. Her uncle and aunt were not in support of the damn project, but because of Satoko's parents, they were also attacked. After Satoko's parents said they were forced to take care of their two children. If all that makes sense, I can see the whole picture now. The damn conflict is over, Satoko's parents. The damn conflict is over, and Satoko Chen's parents are dead. I think the Sonazaki family should speak out and publicly forgive the Hojo family. But once again, there's an issue. Grinning's afraid that the elderly people here will lose their trust in her if she publicly forgives the Hojo family. It seems like Satoko's family is worried about people taking them lightly as the Constellation Center is. I heard this is directly from her, so I'm sure that's what's happening. All she could do is tell everyone not to bother the Hojo family anymore. When she dies, she wants the next head family to officially declare the end of the damn conflict and stop, stop discriminating against the Hojo family. My mom knows about this too. I heard about it from her, actually. It's just that old hag's stubborn pride. Let me ask you this. It sounds to me like the mayor and his people threatened me on and told Chi and say they closed the school. How about them? Do they still have bitter feelings, bitter feelings toward the Hojo family? It's ridiculous, even though Kimiyoshi thinks no one in the village hates the Hojo family. It's just sad that the damn conflict has completely ended for these people. They're still afraid of being bad mouthed behind their backs if they interact with the Hojo family. 
but people like you and me could try to interact with her. I'm young and I don't have any ties to the damn council either. Plus, we could change special. She's the reincarnation of the Oyo Shiosama. Oyo Shiosama was the one who brought humans and demons together, which means she was able to live with Satoko, and even though Satoko was not accepted by the villagers, after hearing all this, I'm beginning to understand how difficult it was for Satoko to live in this village. She always acted bright and cheerful in school and in the club. I thought that was her whole world, but I had no idea how she felt when she was walking around alone in the village. She probably went grocery shopping, even knowing that people were going to ignore her. She felt the coldness from them as she was standing and strong on her feet. I had no idea if she was going through something like that. I knew she went through the tough times during the damn conflict, but I had no clue that she was struggling to this day. What a sad story, and I thought the whole thing was just nonsense, too. You still feel that way, too, Rina? I felt exactly the same. No one feels bitter towards the Toko Jam, but everyone is afraid that something bad will happen to them if they interact with her. Whose fault is this? No one's. Is it the land or society making them think that way? It's no one's fault, yet they are so worried about everyone else's opinions they can't forgive her, huh? Yes, that's kind of atmosphere is great when the wind's blowing in a good direction and people would act kindly and help each other. But the case of the Hojo family is totally the opposite. It's spreading like mold and no one can do anything about it. What do you do with the rotten tatami mat? He had no choice but to toss it out and get a new one. So that marriage pressuring that's not because he hates Sotoko. But because he thinks that if he lets us run free, someone who doesn't even exist might talk badly about him. So I, why can't he just leave it be? I could call out someone the curse of Uriel Seals. I want everyone is afraid that someone, even though that he doesn't exist, but that someone doesn't exist, they're not a real person. Xiang's theory is something interesting. Everyone follows the rules because they're afraid of that someone. However, even the leaders of the villages are afraid of the same thing. Everyone in the village is following the rules because they're afraid of someone who doesn't even exist. They still follow the rules of the damn conflict, thinking that they'll be cursed if they forgive Satoko. Who the hell is that someone? They could only be the, they could only call it the curse of Oyoshio Sama. Oyoshio Sama cursed the Hojo family because they supported the damn project. They still believe that, and Satoko is struggling because of it. Oyoshio Sama will not curse Satoko. She thinks Satoko is adorable. Please don't use her name for something horrible like that. Rikuchan made a sad face. She's the shrine maiden for Oyoshio Sama and the reincarnation of Oyoshio Sama. I don't think there's a curse in this village at all. Everyone is just convinced there is. If that's the case, this isn't the child consolation center's fault at all. The whole village bears responsibility. Yes, I think so too. I'm not appealing to the child consolation center would solve the problem, but that's not going to do anything. You're on Tommy and Matt, huh? We can't just clean the surface. Even if the consolation center does save Satoko, there's nothing but a temporary fix. I guess we need to throw away the rotten Tommy Matt so we can save her for good. I think those Tommy Matt are all assembled nearby. I agree. Most of them are within 20 meter radius of here. Hey, Peach and Reina, what are you guys going to do? Leon, you're deeply involved in the village. I know you feel hesitant to say Satoko as one of the leaders here. I understand why you and Chisa say almost gave up under pressure, but I had nothing to lose. Never, son, are you really going to? Right here? I'm going to do it. I'm going to get rid of that t -t -t rotten tatami mat. Will you join me, Reina? Yes, I'm tougher than you think. Kiki, <laughs> I know. But you should settle down just a little bit. I feel like you could blow up a school if you got too serious. Uh -huh, I think you could beat up someone with a metal bat if you got too serious. Uh -huh, we're both pretty tough, huh? Well, let's go. Yeah, let's go. I understand your position, Mion. You don't have to come with me. Just leave if you think things are going to get out of control. This is more dangerous than any club activity. I'm damn serious about this. As the next head of our family, she shouldn't agree with me, but she stared at it and saw my approval of what I was about to do. Okay, if you're going to take that risk, then I'm coming with you too. <laughs> That's the way. Just watch how I'll take care of this. What about you, Shi Chen? Fortunately, I have nothing to lose. I'll support you guys. She says, hey, Mr. Principal, I understand your stance. We're not in school right now. Please forgive what we're about to do now. You're right. I'm not your teacher right now. The principal and I won't trust our will to you. I'm supporting you guys too. If they want me out of the village, I'm willing to close down my clinic. Only natural for a master to sacrifice everything to save his future maid. Oh, I can feel everyone's power flowing into me. I'm not even going to try and cool down. I need to fight. I need to be fired up for something like this. As I turned back, I noticed Oishi and my dad. I didn't know how long they'd been standing there. <laughs> you seem excited about something, my best son. 
what you said you told me last night that there are some things that a man can't give up on. We had to take a chance, and even when it's risky. Kichi, don't stop me, Dad. I know it's important to be polite, but I don't need this. I needed to do this for my friend. I'm not going to stop you, huh? He gave me a big smile. I never seen my dad smile like that before. I believe in what you just told her, you son. There are some things that a man should not give up on. You'll encounter something like that in your life sooner or later. If this is that time, then I'm not going to stop you. How oh, Kichi's father is so cool. Of course, he's my dad, at least half as cool as me. <laughs> I'm not from him myself. I can't take either side, but I'll be watching you closely, my bear son. When it's, it's going to make a brick, the game takes the risk and discard for the middle weight. Here's something my old friend used to say. You can't compromise once you make a decision. If you're going to forfeit, do so immediately. But if you're going to fight, be confident in yourself. Mahjong uses double, double scoring after all. Even if you get small amount of points several times in succession, you'll lose if someone scares a lot of points, scores a lot of points at once. You just have to be confident when you're ready to fight. Do you play Mahjong too, my very son? They start talking about Mahjong together. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Someone from the community came out and told us to come inside for the meeting. It was time for us to start. All right, let's go inside. I feel like we're finally getting up on the stage. No wonder we felt something that was missing was the Chalk Consolation Center. Yeah. This was supposed to be the stage all along. We're fighting with the wrong people for the past three days. Let's go. Someone pulled my shirt. It was Rika Chan. Kichi, you're not only Satoko's best friend, but you're also a member of the village's three families. You can just watch what Rin and I are going to do. But if you're willing to help us save Satoko, I want you to support us. You're going to try and change this hard-headed man. I'm going to change him. I told you before, face thin it on the piece of paper. I'll tear it down with the ease. I don't know what's going to happen. They're calling the traditions of the village the curse of Oyo Shiro-sama. Shiam sure has an interesting theory. Is Kichi going to smash it in two? Can he destroy the curse of Oyo Shiro-sama? He will break it. Kichi has the power to break everything. It's not just Kichi's power though. Because everyone is working together, Kichi is able to break anything. This energy is more powerful than the lucky six on the die. It's not luck. He's destroying it with his own two hands. Everyone follow Kichi and enter the assembly hall. I follow him after him. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this with Kichi. It doesn't work out as if I mean I'm going to give it my very best. That's probably the, about end for this video. Well, of course, you know the tips and notes thing too, but you know, still also in preparations. I see. We're good as long as we know that the town council and the only good Fiji guardians aren't involved. Please take care of Tokohojo son's case without worrying about it too much. Oh uh, well, I'm glad to know that the whole village isn't backing them. I wouldn't agree with them if they were, though. No matter who is pulling the strings, we must treat every case equally. This is an odd rule that we have to give it. Was our special treatment is only due to the precedent set when we left threats and influenced us before. Well, you're absolutely right, sir, but please continue working on this case. The manager for the municipal government assured us that the town council has nothing to do with this petition. It's a problem that an organization is so afraid of one tiny community. As a manager, you should think about that a little. Yes, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm glad to hear that the villagers are supporting them. You must act the same way even if the villagers support them. No matter who is behind the scenes, please be very careful about Satoko Kojo's case. Don't try to give her any special treatment, you understand? Wow. Okay, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Whew. Um, yeah. Um, I need to get... No, my... Oh, yeah. You know, I'm just really tired. Um, I thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll see y'all next time. Maybe hopefully in my next chugging video soon.